we're going to uh, convene our Transportation Conference uh, Subcommittee. I'm Assemblymember uh, Jim Brennan, uh, Chair of the Assembly Standing Committee on Corporations, Authorities, and Commissions. Uh, once again, uh, our uh, co-chair, uh, Mr. David Gant, from the Rochester area is unavailable to be with us, and so I'm uh, substituting for him. Uh, joining me is Assemblymember Eric DeLon, uh, Assemblymember Brian Cavanaugh, uh, Assemblymember Phil Steck, Assemblymember David McDonough, and Assemblymember Philip Palmasano. Uh, and um, we're going to be uh, working with uh, Senator Roback and the, uh, his uh, colleagues uh, to discuss our table targets and uh, issues that remain under uh, discussion. Um, uh, as part of uh, today's uh, uh, conference committee, and I can assure you that um, we're not going to be taking uh, a lot of your time this afternoon. Thanks, Jim. Um, let me say, as the chairman of transportation, I appreciate the work. A lot of um, dialogue still goes on, and I want to thank Senator Funky and Senator Delon for being with us as well today. As uh, Assemblyman Brennan has indicated, um, and this is very important for people to understand, we have a table target of $5 million um, that is above and beyond anything capital. Uh, obviously everything, or I should say not everything, but the vast majority of negotiations that continues is going on at, with capital for the DOT MTA capital plan local highways and bridge capital plan, um, as well as a throughway authority and many other things, this $5 million is to be used above and beyond for the other categories. Uh, certainly on the Senate side, we'd like to see that money go to um, upstate transit outside of the MTA area. I I'm sure my colleagues uh, in the assembly may support some of that, but have some other ideas as well. Yes, thank you, Senator. I, I think uh, for, the, for the benefit of uh, the uh, public that's here, you know, the, uh, the conference uh, subcommittees, uh, Transportation and the others, we go through uh, the Article 7 bills, which are the bills that the governor has submitted with the budget, and uh, we provided some information about the different houses' positions on those items, and those are still all subject uh, to discussion in relation to uh, where we had differences with the governor. Uh, we'll be coming to agreement uh, in relation to where we accept the governor's proposals, and we'll be discussing um, uh, issues such as uh, public-private uh, uh, procurement uh, and uh, contracting and public-private partnerships with the MTA and other, other uh, similar kinds of items uh, where uh, the two houses had uh, uh, positions different from the governor. Just to flesh out more of what is still uh, subject to discussion, it includes um, uh, CHIPS funding, uh, upstate and downstate uh, non-MTA systems, uh, rail aviation, uh, uh, MTA uh, capital, as, as the senator mentioned, uh, and um, uh, throughway authority allocations of settlement funds, Canal Corporation uh, transfer from the Thruway to the New York State Power Authority. So, um, uh, I would think I would say to the public, uh, if you are interested in uh, seeing allocations of capital funding, and of course, obviously, the five million is we will have to make some decisions about where to allocate those funds. And it's not a lot, I understand. But if you're uh, if you're concerned about uh, particular issues associated with the uh, capital program, either for the MTA or State DOT or uh, through a authority, um, we are still uh, uh, actively under discussion. Can't make any promises, obviously, about uh, the particulars, but uh, we are we are working on it. Senator Delon, did you want to add anything? Yes, I would. I would just like to say that I, uh, five million dollars seems like such an insignificant amount with the entire scope the budget that we're discussing and perhaps you know the five million could be used for countdown clocks or even go into chips where it would be shared with everyone in the state of New York and 
Also, I would just like to add that I would like to see uh, real funding for the MTA capital plan. Thank you. I would certainly concur with you that uh, last year we had 15 million at this table. Um, this year we have five. And well, I think we'll all agree that we would like to see more. Again, it's critically, critically important, obviously, for anybody who follows transportation issues. Um, this is our one time to make five-year capital plan and uh, much of the dialogue going on publicly and privately has been around uh, road and bridge parity for the entire state with the MTA plan and getting back to that, what we had um, previously up to the 2010 plan and uh, we've each staked out positions in our one house budget and uh, I am hopeful while we can't report that victory today that the end of this process and I'd point this out too, hopefully still staying on track for a timely budget that, uh, as you point out, Senator Dewan, given the importance of roads and bridges to everyone's transportation needs across the state, the impact it has on economies as well as safe travel, uh, we'll get to a good spot on that capital, which really is, um, I'll every public dollar is important. That's where the lion's share of what we still have to debate, which won't only be significant for this budget year, but for five years uh, outgoing. Yes, uh, thank you. And I, I see Mr. Palmasano would like to uh, make a comment. And if you wouldn't mind, just for a moment, uh, and uh, in relation to your possible comment, uh, <laughs> that uh, the Assembly One House did include uh, additional funds for CHIPS, and, uh, and um, that, is, uh, that is continued uh, to be under discussion because it is part of the capital budget. Mr. Palmasano. And, and Mr. Chairman, I appreciate that. And I just wanted to reinforce, I know that those issues are being dealt with uh, on the capital side in a different different light. Thanks. Um, just just want to reinforce, and I hope our committee can reinforce that to the General Budget Committee, the importance of uh, a couple items, certainly the parity issue, uh, certainly uh, uh, the issue of chips, which we've talked about, and then also with the, uh, the, 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 the the bridge program, the, the state aid, the bridge program. Uh, hopefully, with, if we're looking at language to recommend uh, to make sure that there's uh, provisions in there for culverts, uh, because a lot of municipalities don't have bridges, they have culverts, uh, that allow culvert funding to be a part of that, and, and also to ensure that there's some local control and local decision making on that funding, so it's not just controlled at the state level, but it's also the local municipalities have a say in how some of that uh, bridge money is spent. I just think that would be a, a nice message for us to say as a committee up to the general budget committee moving forward. Uh, so I appreciate the time. I know uh, uh, a lot of hard work's still got to go on, but I just uh, wanted to get that on the record from on behalf of our conference and, and certainly you know, look forward to continuing working with you. Yes, thank you, Mr. Palmasano, and I appreciate all your hard work uh, on this issue. I just want to let you know. Thank you. All right, uh, with that, uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Uh, thank you very much for uh, being here, and uh, hope we haven't taken up too much of your time. Have a nice, have a nice uh, weekend. Thanks.